Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Claire. I am a pharmacist and on this channel we discuss everything about your health, your well-being and your medication. Without further explanation, let us get right into the video of today. I will be talking about hypertension in pregnancy. Hypertension, if you want to know more about the definition, click on the video at the at the end screen of this particular video. I will leave a link there even in my description box. Hypertension in pregnancy can be grouped into chronic hypertension, preeclampsia with enclampsia, and thirdly, gestational hypertension. In chronic hypertension, the patient already has hypertension even before getting pregnant. In preeclampsia, there's hypertension at about 20 weeks of the pregnancy, and it's also comes with protein in urine. But in enclampsia, the preenclampsic woman now has seizure and that is now grouped as enclampsia. All these conditions are complications and they should be handled by professionals. Please don't go and manage it in your midwife's house. Okay, some midwives are actually experienced but reports to your ANC and for your antenatal care so that they can be promptly managed to avoid further complications. And then as for gestational hypertension, they occur they are pregnancy induced hypertension and usually sometimes they disappear after pregnancy, especially 12 weeks after pregnancy. So for the sake of this video I'll be talking about me I'll be talking mainly about factors that can increase your chances of having preeclampsia. We have several factors. We have the medical factors, personal factors, fetal factors, but for the sake of this video, it's about the woman. I'll be talking about personal and medical factors. Under personal factors, personal factors are those factors that are associated with the woman as a person. Firstly, her age. A woman that is less than 18 or um, above the age of 35, is an, at an increased risk. Secondly, her race. People of the black race, some short studies, some studies have shown that people of the black race are at an increased chance of having hypertension in pregnancy, that's preeclampsia to be specific. Thirdly, obesity. When you have a body mass index greater than 30, 30 kilograms per meter square, that increases your chances of having hypertension in pregnancy. Preeclampsia. Fourthly, first pregnancy. If it's two thirds of the women that have preeclampsia have it in their first pregnancy, that is the first child you're you're having. And then next, if you have a previous history, if you have experienced preeclampsia before, then you have an an increased chance of experiencing it again. This may not be the case, and sometimes some people will have like four children and they've never had hypertension in pregnancy, and then in their fifth or I don't know in the next child, and when they are pregnant for the next child, they start suffering from this condition. Now, if you have a previous history of preeclampsia, you may most likely develop it in your current in the current pregnancy. So watch out for that. Finally, interpregnancy interval. What I mean by that is the in the gap between your first the, the your first pregnancy and your second pregnancy. That's an instance. If this gap is less than a year or greater than ten years, then your chances of having hypertension in this pregnancy is there. So take note of this. In personal factors. Moving on to the medical factors, we have factors like chronic hypertension. If you're already hypertensive even before pregnancy, then you may most likely have preeclampsia. Secondly, diabetes. Diabetes can be due to insulin resistance. So if you really have sugar level issues, you always have high level, high level of sugar, then high level of blood sugar. That's what insulin, that's what diabetes is all about simply put then you have an increased chance of having hypertension in pregnancy thirdly kidney disease fourthly history of migraine migraine is a type of headache that comes with aura that is increases your sensitivity to light and sound so it, this can predispose one to having hypertension in pregnancy and lastly the use of some antidepressants yes they can increase your risk of having hypertension in pregnancy. If you want me to talk more about hypertension in pregnancy, leave a comment or leave a thumbs up and then I will know that you're interested in videos like that. And until next time, see you in the next one.
Bye.